Hi and welcome back to Peter Ford Magic. Today is deck review of the Bicycle Rider Back Green playing cards. There are quite a few requests to do a review of this one. Um, I think they've changed a lot over the years, what particular cards are inside, uh, whether you buy them in the UK or the US. Um, particular cards inside, I think they've changed. I've watched a few videos on YouTube and I've noticed they are slightly different. So we're going to go through a review of the deck um, we're also going to go through a few tricks, uh, what we can actually do with the cards that come inside. So stick around to the end. It's got a few tricks and tutorials of how to use the cards. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the intro there and watching the opening of the deck. So with the pack you get four cards outside the standard 52. Uh, you only get one joker, uh, the standard joker there, but you only get one in the pack. Uh, but you get three gaff cards, which is pretty cool. So the three gaff cards are green backed. One with a pink green, one with a white back, and then one with a double backer. Uh, green, which is many many uses for a double backer. Uh, what we're going to do now is just take you through a couple of tricks that you can use with these three cards that come with the green rider pack. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, here's a great trick to use with the double backer. What you need to do is place the double backer on the top of the deck. If you dribble the cards, ask the spectator to say stop. In this case, we have the two hearts. What you want to do is place the two hearts on the top, you turn it over, and you place it in the middle of the deck. It's a snap, and the two hearts jumps to the top. Now what you need to do is, as I say, you've got the, the double backer, which is now in the middle. Let's grab it. Okay. So you've got the double backer on the top. When you pull the card out of the middle, the selection card, as you grab the card and you're gesturing, this is when you need to sl slide off um, the double backer. So what you do is you just slide it off and then bring it back underneath a pinky break, which you can see just here. There's got a little pinky break underneath. So you just slide it off and come back underneath. You're uh, uh, just a little bit of practice and you'll get this one. Okay. So you show them the card, make the pinky break, place the card on top. So now you're ready for the double lift. Okay, you turn it back over, place the two hearts in the middle, and then jumps to the back, to the top. Okay, another great use for the double backer. Uh, you ask the audience to say stop, so have a free choice of card. Okay, and then you ask them to place the card back in the middle of the deck, say here, as so. And then you ask them if the power in mind to take their card out, to turn the card over, push it back in again, and let's see if we can get the card to be magically turned over. So you spread the deck out, and there is there, one card that's turned over in a deck, and it's their chosen card. So a nice quick trick, very easy one to use with a double backer. 
all you need to do is place it on the bottom. Um, part of the trick is you're going to turn the deck over. So you ask them to stop, they can have a free choice of card. And then what you're going to do is quickly turn the deck over. It's always good to have something on the table, uh, a, a reason to to turn, turn your rest over uh, and then put the cards back down. And then they can place the jack, keep it, keep it tight. Uh, you don't want it to see that it's the only card. Place the card in the deck, as so. And then when you spread it out, it is the only one upturned, which is their card. So yeah, quick, great little use of the double back of green there. Uh, just make sure you put it on the bottom uh, and then just press it. You can just do a quick turn, uh, they won't notice. Or, you know, a reason, as I say, a reason to, to reach over and then just to turn the deck over. Okay, one cool thing you can do with the white blank is if you place it on top of the deck and do a reverse fan, it actually looks like all of the cards are blank just by putting it on the top. So, which is quite a cool effect there. So that's one good thing you can do with the blank card. One thing you need to notice when you do the reverse fan is uh, obviously the top right hand corner here, there is the biggest space of white on the card, obviously you don't want to do it on this side. So if you do it the other way, obviously you're going to see the cards. If you do it the other way, uh, you've got to see just the top right hand corner of the cards. So it's a great effect. Okay, to do the blank fan on the table, it doesn't require too much practice. You just need to apply a little bit of pressure on the bottom right hand corner of the deck. And just slowly bring it round. And it gives you the illusion of all the cards are blank in the deck. And obviously, as we know, we're just catching just the outer edge. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the review there and what to use with the gaff cards that come with inside the deck. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you next time.